Am I the a-hole stories? Update, am I the a-hole for saving one sister's life and not the other? Original story. Unlike most insane titles on this sub, this one isn't hyperbolic unfortunately. I, 22 female, have little identical twin half-sisters, 16, who both have serious kidney issues. They have both sadly reached a point where without a kidney transplant, their quality of life will continue to decline and they might not see the other side of 20. Obviously, myself and my mom are devastated with this news, it wasn't expected that they would be in this position so young. For some background, one of my sisters Sarah is very much the tomboy like me, we are really close and enjoy a lot of the same things. We are like two peas in a pod. That's not to say I don't love my other sister Jade, but we simply aren't as close. She's a little more girly, doesn't have many shared interests as me and Sarah do, and so we just don't hang out as often. I also don't see Jade as much in general. Sarah doesn't like her dad's wife, and so she spends less time with them, while Jade adores her, so has always spent more time at her dad's place, both my mom, their dad and both of the girls were totally happy with this setup. Jade also begged to go to a particular boarding school, so I don't see her nearly as much as Sarah, nor have I for a very long time. Maybe one weekend a month for the last couple years and some more over summer slash holidays. I still love her dearly, but I hope it's understandable now that I'm just much, much closer with Sarah. We were equally close until Jade started doing her own thing and making choices for herself, and I don't in any way begrudge that. I wouldn't say me and Jade don't get along, but there have definitely been some big spats over the years. We all got tested to see if it would be possible to do live donations and I'm the only match. Unfortunately, I obviously only have two kidneys. I can only save one of my sisters. There's every chance they might get a kidney from somewhere else, but right now, they aren't a priority and aren't high on the transplant list. I basically told my mom, who told their dad, that I want to donate my kidney to Sarah. I thought about it so, so much. I know this means I am undeniably saying I love Sarah more than Jade, and I guess I do. Unsurprisingly, all hell broke loose, about how could I do this to Jade, how could I be so cruel, why would I do this, how can I just play with their lives. I've been getting calls and texts from everyone who knows about this. As far as I know, neither Sarah nor Jade have been told. I get it. I'm playing God here. But it's my kidney. Yeah, I feel like scum for choosing one sister over the other, but one is my best friend and the other is, well, not. I feel like a monster for saying it and I know on a fundamental level it's wrong. Part of me wanted to flip a coin or something, but I couldn't. My whole family seemed to be demonizing me for making this choice. Sorry if it's confusing, the character count cut me off. Edit for some repeated questions. Currently, their doctors can't tell who will deteriorate faster. They are currently at similar stages, and their most recent results have given no insight into whether or not Sarah or Jane will be worse off. Only time will tell but their current treatments are harsh on their other organs, so there is an element of urgency that makes us reluctant to just wait to see who gets sicker faster. If it came down to Jade needing a kidney next week and Sarah not needing one until next year, I would obviously donate to Jade and hold out hope Sarah will get another donor. I have suggested setting up a donor or chain to my mom, but this has all happened recently so it's still up in the air. I have only been confirmed as a match, and I haven't passed through all of the other checkpoints and testing. There's a very real chance I can't donate at all in the end, which is why I only told my mom and not my sisters about how I felt. To be explicitly clear, as this question comes up a lot, I don't think either deserves to die. Their parents are undeniably advocating for me to choose Jade who has, and I quote, such a bright future, but they just haven't said it explicitly. I'm not choosing Sarah because she deserves it, I'm choosing Sarah because I want to save her life. Jade has always been, shall we say, unkind to a lot of people, and her dad has always acted like that's her right. If I could save both, I would. If I can only save one, and the doctors have no explicit results to say one needs it urgently, I would choose to save the one I love, not just the one I share blood with. I personally think I'm an a-hole. I think that if you look past the kudos, for trying to donate a kidney, I think I'm doing something wrong, it just isn't enough to make me change how I feel, and I was hoping to get an impartial insight here as I obviously can't get one from my family. Edit, I'm not ignoring you guys, I got a big old ban for arguing with some a-hole who repeatedly called me a liar. I'm still reading every comment that comes in, and really listening to them. To the people who pointed out the complete kidney failure isn't necessarily a death sentence, thank you for the hope you were giving me. I knew they would be able to get dialysis, I had no idea it was a long-term solution, so thank you for reaching out. 
Now for the top comments before reading the update. No a-holes here. It's a crappy situation. Assuming both of their health risks are similar, then I don't see a problem with choosing one. And I also understand why everyone is freaking out. But it probably would have been better to lie and say you flipped a coin, because Jade is going to be heartbroken when she finds out, if she doesn't already know, which she probably does, since other people know. Currently they'd have the same risks and are deteriorating at the same rate, so there's no apparent medical basic to choose one of the other, which is why this is so hard. If Jade had weeks and Sarah years, then it would be a no-brainer. Frankly had I said I flipped a coin I think they would have gone ape crap, because I made a life decision on a coin flip. It feels like people are pissed with me, because I only have one kidney going spare. The part that hurts me most, I think, is that I'm being judged for choosing Sarah, but I sort of think that's because Jade is the golden child. She's an absolute superstar at everything she does, she really is, and she works really hard at it too. Sarah is a bit more reserved and quiet, and while she doesn't do poorly, she isn't a straight-A student either. I think the term is a wallflower maybe? But she certainly has never been doted on as much as Jade, this favoritism is part of the reason Sarah doesn't like to go to her dad's. My gut is telling me, people are more devastated that the good child is the one not being picked, and it makes me sick to think, that had I said I has chosen Jade, people would have called me a hero. Nobody has really talked about how else I should have picked, like flipping a coin or asking the doctors, everyone keeps focusing on how I could pick Sarah over Jade, why don't I love Jade, why does Jade deserve to die? To be clear, I don't believe Sarah deserves to live any more than Jade. It's entirely my decision based on who I want, for myself, to live more. I don't want Jade to die, but I want Sarah to die less. My point about what other people were saying is that their own parents are acting like Jade deserves my kidney more because of her bright future. I'd be tempted to ask them bluntly, should I donate my kidney to Jade instead of Sarah? And ask them to explain why. If they're just being irrational because of grief, and don't want to think about how you can only choose one, that might knock some sense into them. If they honestly believe Jade deserves to live more than Sarah, well, that's something you should know too. Info, how else are the family suggesting deciding which twin gets the kidney? They aren't really suggesting anything really. I've tried asking what else am I supposed to do and just get answered with hysterics, that I'm abandoning my sister, or that I'm being heartless just because Jade got to go to a fancy private boarding school, like WTF? I had to take it from my post due to characters, I had considered asking the doctors, I probably still will, which one needed it more, but as far as our last recent update, both of their conditions are basically in the exact same place. My decision certainly isn't set in stone. Now for the update. I've gotten a lot of requests for an update so here we are, I posted a couple months ago about my sisters Sarah and Jade, twins, who both needed kidney transplants, and I was the only match in our family. To cut a long story short, they both got kidneys, they each got one from the same donor, our family got to meet the family of the donor and it was really emotional and amazing, and they're both recovering well. However, before that, a lot of stuff went down that I wanted to update you on. There are now understandably massive divides in the family, because of how my mom and the girl's dad outright demanded I give my kidney to Jade, because she was the golden child with a bright future, while Sarah was just, effectively, mediocre. I feel less bad now saying this, because she's on the road to recovery, but Jada Slash was a flaming a-hole who made Sarah's life hell. I presume Sarah chose to spend most of her time with mom because we were so close, but it was mostly because of how Jade treated her like dirt, and their dad and stepmom thought it was basically Jade's right as the superior being or some BS. I ended up not being allowed to donate, but before this, as many suggested, I spoke to my sisters about my decision. Sarah broke down in tears because it was the first time she ever felt somebody put her first. She told me stories of the things that Jade did with her dad's approval, and I was livid. She said if she was my choice, she wouldn't feel guilty knowing it might mean Jade won't get a kidney. I made it clear that I chose her because she is good, and amazing, and I loved her, not because Jade was a horrible person. I then spoke to Jade, and calmly explained that I had to pick and well, as she knew, we weren't very close and Sarah was a kindred spirit that I was always with. I wasn't surprised that she was mad, I mean, how else would you react? But I didn't expect her to spew such hate, that I'm wasting my kidney. And I'm probably an a-hole for it, but I didn't care if she was sick, I effectively said if she hadn't been such a nasty witch her whole life, maybe she wouldn't be dealing with this, and it's a shame that she might have only learned on what may be her deathbed, that she won't always be everyone's favorite, 
and she can't treat her own sister like dirt. I've never simultaneously felt so happy and so guilty for getting something off my chest. Due to character count I can't explain the crap she did, but it's horrific. In any case, about two weeks after that, Jade asked me to come visit her and said she'd thought about what I said. I apologized and explained that I knew about everything she had done, as well as the fact Sarah had already resigned herself to death, because she knew the whole family would put Jade first. After many tears, things seem to be okay now, she's slowly mending bridges with Sarah. Sarah will be moving in with me soon, so she can finally have a home where she comes first. Jade said she'd like to visit sometime too. So yeah, all wrapped up. Edit, so apparently, I can exceed the count after the post is up. First, I'm definitely skeptical of Jade's sudden change of heart. I totally respect situations like these can have profound effects on people, but I can't fathom being that horrific to anybody and suddenly be a whole different person when you get caught. I will support her in good faith but will do my best to keep my eyes wide open for anything suspicious that makes me think she isn't being sincere. Obviously, a lot of people are asking about the things Jade did, and I can't share all of them before because of the rules. But, when they were still in the same school, things were particularly bad, but the pattern continued when they were at home together. I don't want to talk about everything in detail, but it would be things like taking Sarah's food and calling her fat. Sarah is absolutely not fat. As in, She'd grab Sarah's dinner and thrown it in the bin, then proceed to eat her own food. She'd sometimes do this in school as well, so other people started calling her fat. They shared a bedroom, and Jade used to try to deprive Sarah of sleep. Jade would wear earplugs and set alarms randomly. Anytime Jade woke up, she'd just go over and shake Sarah awake then go back to sleep herself. She'd wait until just before school to go to Sarah's bag and rip up her homework or assignments. Sarah said she mostly stopped doing homework the night before, and just did it in between periods where Jade couldn't do it anymore. Some other things would include hiding the tampons and pads at their dad's house. They weren't supposed to go into the master bedroom, and Sarah would be screamed at for stealing their stepmom's tampons. Edit 2, I felt I need to make this edit to make it clear that kidney failure in general is not a massive death sentence. As I have learned a lot since my original post, there are amazing treatments that can let people suffering from kidney problems have decent quality of life, and I don't want to misconstrue the reality of having kidney problems before I terrify anybody reading this story. My on your deathbed remark was, to call it what it is, very over the top and a result of strong emotions, and I did apologize for being so needlessly dramatic to Jade. Now for some comments. Not the a-hole. It sounds like you may have said something to Jade that she needed to hear. You know what is way worse and more toxic than being straightforward to someone, even if it's unpleasant? Holding in ill feelings and letting it fester, as there is no resolution to those feelings without talking it out. I hope you're right. You handled this incredibly tough situation so well OP. I'm really happy things are starting to get better for all of you. Definitely not the a-hole and you're awesome. Congratulations OP. I think you've handled the situation as best as you could and the fact that they are both on the road to recovery and Jade is trying to do better by Sarah, tells me you have the best outcome possible. It's a tricky, unique situation and I am glad things went down this way. Hope you and Sarah have a blast living together. Thanks so much. Not the a-hole. Poor Sarah. I am glad, she had someone in her corner this whole time. Her dad needs some cognitive recalibration, because he is a complete a-hole, stepmom too picking one daughter over another, to the point of her knowing they would let her die to save her sister. It makes me so mad just thinking about it. The things I'd like to say about her dad would probably get me permanently banned, so I probably shouldn't. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for not giving my kidney to my half-sister? Past. So I, 14 male, was born from an affair between my mom and my dad. She already had a one-year-old female, my half-sister. My dad didn't know my mom was married when they started hooking up, but when she got pregnant her husband found out and left her. My mom was going to terminate me, but my dad paid her a lot of money not to. She signed over rights and was not part of my life financially or emotionally. She just birthed me. I don't blame her or hold men slash women who leave accountable. Everyone from her side know about me, however, they don't care. Well. My mom and her husband got back together for my half-sister and my dad ended up starting a business and earning about 8 figures yearly. Present. My mom contacted my dad saying she wanted to get to know me better. I was skeptical and not sure, because I didn't really think about her often, but I decided I would meet her. 
I met up with her and her family, and it was pretty awkward. These people were not my main family. I had never even met my stepdad or sis. I've been talking with my mom's side for about two months, when at a family gathering they all sat me down like I was in an interrogation, and told me that the reason they contacted me was because my half-sister has kidney failure and was basically dying. They said they needed a transplant and that I was the only hope. I was pissed. I couldn't believe them. I just left and my dad picked me up. I told him and he said that it's your choice to see if I'm eligible to give before I make my decision. I arranged to get tested. I think they thought to this as me agreeing, and told everyone the good news. After some time and talks with family, I told them that I would not be donating my kidney. They had done nothing for me, and if the only reason to contact me was for my kidney, then I didn't want anything to do with them. I got loads of hateful messages and calls from people angry, but decided to stand by my decision and I blocked most of the people spamming me. After that, I got a call from my sister saying I had given false hope and calling me a douche. Insulting me, and telling me my life has been a fairy tale and hers has been a wreck. I do feel bad, but I simply do not want to give up my kidney. I could give it with no extreme consequences you could say, but why would I? For people who remembered me and tried buttering me up only for my kidney? A few days ago, I got a call from the remainder of them, saying my sister was in critical condition and was going to die and I was her only hope spamming me and sending me photos of her. I consulted my family, and friends are calling me a massive douche, saying I can save a life but I am choosing not to, yada yada. They said, she did nothing wrong and deserves to live, and I am pretty much hated right now, apart from my dad who is on my side. So, am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. It's a dangerous procedure that does not come without risk. As far as you're concerned. These people are strangers. You don't get to pull the family card when you want something, but literally sign you away when they don't. It absolutely freaking sucks, that your decision will come to the detriment of someone who wasn't privy to all that went on, but as far as I'd be concerned, you shouldn't be saying no to spite these people. You should be saying no because it's dangerous, and we can't all be giving away organs whenever a stranger comes knocking. As a side note, there isn't a phrase vitriolic enough I can use to describe your mother, I feel totally dismissed and used. It's a lose-lose situation for me, and I have been forced into a corner right now. I have no ill feelings to my mom, but I despise her for manipulating me and trying to butter me up, so she could take my kidney and probably never see me again. Thanks for the comment. If you want to appear in a better light, get tested and tell the doctor you don't really want to donate and feel pressured. They will tell you in front of your so-called family, that it's a real shame, but you're no match. Also, unless she's got some extremely rare condition, she isn't going to die from kidney failure, dialysis is a thing. It's not pleasant, but it keeps kidney patients alive, often for decades. So them telling you she's going to die, is pure manipulation, there is every chance she'll go on to dialysis, go on to the transplant waiting list, and survive just fine until a donor comes along. If you're over 75 dialysis is not always worth it. Quality of life is decreased and you don't always gain all that much more time, but for someone young and otherwise healthy, it's absolutely an option. Source: My husband is a kidney transplant recipient, so I've learned an awful lot more about end-stage renal disease, dialysis and transplants than I ever wanted to know. NTA, donation is serious, and can even be lethal. Not to mention kidney donation means you have to live more careful the rest of your life. These people are total strangers and your friends are idiots. I know that these are strangers, but my friends are telling me that life is precious and that I owe them this. I keep questioning myself and am stressing out. If these friends are so desperate to save a life, tell them they can go and get themselves tested to see if they are a match. Edit, hey guys, thanks for all the comments giving me advice and even the ones shaming me for expressing your opinion. I haven't been able to respond to all of them but I'm trying to read them all. I am gonna get a new number so they can't contact me and my dad and are going no contact with his family until they apologize. Surprisingly a few actually have so this has gone better than I expected. I don't have an update on my sister's condition, but I have suggested it to them and they are deflecting it. I will update if her condition worsens. This has made me appreciate my dad even more and I'm lucky. Thanks. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.